welcome to Crazy Cracker Plans. You're here for another video and this one is a completely different video. So if it's not your thing, feel free to skip this one and stay tuned for some more planning ones that will be coming very shortly. But I just wanted to share um, this with those that are interested. I love BTS. They are a Korean K-pop band and I absolutely love them. And I decided I wanted to learn Korean so I could understand both what they were saying um, but also because I wanted to learn a language and um, a culture as well. And I found Korean interesting. So I wanted to learn how to speak it. I also love K-dramas and different things like that. And if you've been watching my channel for a little while, you know that um, I've been studying to learn how to speak Korean. So I wanted to share these with you today. I've got the first two. And then they have also released a third one, which... Um, is the next one on as well, which is Talk with BTS. And I have bought that as well. Stay tuned, I will put a show through of that if you're interested. Um, but I thought I'd go through both of these today and just give you a bit of an idea of what they look like when you get them. And also then what they sort of do, because there's the three of them. And basically you start out with this one. If you're an absolute beginner, don't get this one, get this one. Because this is where you start. It's um, where you start Hangul, which is the um, Korean alphabet and that sort of thing with the consonants and the vowels. And so this is this is where you start. This is the really basic, basic. And then this is the next step on. Once you know a little bit, I mean, you can buy just this one straight out, but um, it, it doesn't have anywhere near as much of the basic stuff in it. So if you don't know anything, you want to go this one first. And then you get this one, um, and that's your basic intermediate sort of thing, your, your beginner intermediate. And then the talk with BTS is then further on as well, uh, as far as I know. <laughs> but I haven't got it yet, so I'm not sure. But I thought I would take you through these and show you. Now, please excuse the background. <laughs> I'm using BTS as my background. Uh, it's a blanket because I don't have my desk at the moment yet. It's still coming. So I'm using my bed to show you this on. Um, so I wanted to show you just a quick look through. So this is what it looks like when you get it. Tiny tan. Learn with tiny tan. And please forgive um, the coffee stain on the top of this box because I do have a coffee stain. Don't look at it. <laughs> so you have that slip that you just take off. And then here's your box. And then inside, it'll look something like this. Now, it is a bit dirty, as I said, because I have been using it and I have had it for almost a year. Um, so it is a bit dirty and things are missing. So there's two um, posters that you get, which are these. I've had them up on my wall and I use them all the time. Um, so I've just still got the glue tag on the bottom and everything. Um, but this, these just really help. Um, and I'll show you a little bit later the awesome thing that the, these posters can do. But there's that one, and then there's this one, and yes, I have cheated to be able to help myself visualize it a little bit more and remember the sounds that they generally make. I've memorized about half of it, um, and then three quarters of it. <laughs> so you get the two posters, and then you get these two books. You've got your main learning book and then your workbook. You also get two washi tapes with um, the different vowels and consonants all on this one and the little people, which is so cute. And then you get this one, which has got a bunch of words on it. I'm pretty sure there's I love you and different ones like that. They did originally have these stickers on the sides of these, but I took them off um, so that I could use them <laughs> and just stuck them onto my planner, one of my planners. Um, so you get those as well. You get these, which are Hangul flashcards. You get a sticker pack and you get a pen. Now, this is the powerhouse. This pen is absolutely awesome. This is like if you're an Australian, you know Leapfrog. It's a little bit similar to that where you turn it on, you've got the book connected and you can click on it and it um, like hold the pen over the words and it says it. This is very similar. Um, so this is the main thing and it comes in this little box and then you've got your pen. It also comes with um, instructions of how to do it. If you're unsure, it does have a QR code that you can scan and it will tell you how to use the pen, which is really cool. Um, but this is how it's set out. And there are two different types of pens, which you'll see in a minute as well. There's this purple pinky one, which is their newest one out. And then they have a black one as well. But this is the one you want, trust me. Because <laughs> um, this one you can get personalized. 
and it'll say hello with the BTS sounds. So like you can get one of the BTS members to say your name and say hello, um, which is really cool because it's a personalized option. So this is the pen and then you just hold it to turn it on. So I don't know if you heard that. Um, oh, there we go, it's a bit louder. Let me turn it off. <laughs> um, so I've got Jungkook as the, um, or Jungle as the um, name that comes through. And so he says, you can type in what you want it to say. And I was a little bit cheesy. So instead of just Emily, I put in my darling Emily. <laughs> I know it's sad, um, but that's fine. <laughs> so that's the pen. And so they speak. And then there's also a lady that speaks. So when you're um, doing your language and stuff, it's a lady. But then there's special parts throughout the book um, where they speak to you as well in their own thing, which is really cool. So then this is the sticker pack. And this is the stuff to do with the emoji pen and thing to make it personalized. So that's what you use to get um, one of the names on it. Because when you first get it, it's just a welcome from all BTS. But if you want it specific to one particular member, then you go and personalize it with your name. And then it came with some cute little stickers like this. And they're really adorable. And you can stick them wherever. So I'm going to be using them in my planner. <laughs> Um, and then it comes with two. There's only one left because I use one. But it, I use the green one and then there's a white one as well. But this is a Hangul and normal keyboard system. So you can put it on your keyboard and it's got both the Korean and the English um, letters for you to use. So that's really cool. And you get two of those. Um, I found I used the green one on my iPad one. But the, the stickers just kept falling off because it's not meant to stick on that type of background. It needs a proper keyboard. And then this was just these. Um, I've already stuck them on. Um, but this is where you have your uh, Korean, English, Japanese and Spanish, I think it is. No, is that for sure? Um, but you click on those and it makes the pen speak that language. So not only does it have Korean and English, it also has the two other languages as well which is really cool. So that was that. And then there's also these cute as little stickers as well that you get. And um, behind them is sort of like the letters that they're representing throughout the book. So that's another way to get to understand the alphabet that they have. So there's that as well. Washi tapes, I'll show you the flashcards. So yeah, this is basic, basic um, to start with. So it's teaching you through Hangul and then basic words and things. It's got a little stand that you can set up to put them on. And then it has your consonants and your vowels and things at the front. All lots of different ones. And you can put a few together to make words. So there's all of those there. And then they do also then have uh, animals and fruit so they have the that it's an animal and the name of it in English and then the Korean name for it on the back and if you use your pen I love hearing that anyway <laughs> so it says the word so over on this side that's how you say animal and then um, you can't feel it because it says it. But this is pig. It says animal. And then it says it in Korean. What it is. And I think. English. Oh, yeah, it doesn't. That's all right. It does in the book. <laughs> so it's got um, a bunch of different animals and a bunch of different fruits. Um, and that's just some basic words that you can learn straight away. And then it's got your letters as well. And on the back of each of the letters, or vowels and consonants, it has some of the words that you can make with it. Kasu. So kasu is singer. Ami. And ami. And I have this uh, as a t-shirt, um, but this is the BTS ARMY, which is like a following or uh, yeah, it's the fan base. Ami. So that's what sound it makes. Ah. Mm. 
and that's how you say the vowel. I don't think, no, nah, it's this side that's active. So you get for the sound of the thing and then a couple of words that you can get from it. So they all have that on them. So these flashcards are really cool. They're a good way to test yourself. And you can put a couple together to build words. Once you start learning your basic words, you can use these to build it. Um, so I regularly use those and grill myself on how to speak them. And then other than that, you get the two books. So your workbook, and please forgive messy writing, I have been using it. <laughs> um, but your workbook just sets it out so that you're doing, working your way through. So the different sounds, and again, your pen works in here. Mm. Well, yeah. So the pen works in this book as well. And then you're working your way through doing your different um, sounds. So you're just practicing them out, writing them down. And then they do have extra space, ignore messy handwriting, um, but extra space of scribbling where I've just been putting a bunch of words. But I have moved on to using an actual notebook where I write all these words down. So I don't use this page as much anymore. Um, but it's just set it out in the different vowels and consonants that you fill out uh, and you work your way through this as you're working your way through the learning book. I mean, you could just fill all this out in one go if you wanted to, but it's nicer to do it as you're going, obviously. So you just work your way through, learn some different words and fill that out. And then the last bit is where you're learning to put it into... Um, the different squares, so how many you can put together to create words and to create sentences and stuff. And then the last bit is a bit of fun. It's writing out lyrics to the BTS um, songs. So they have that there as well. Obviously, I haven't gotten up to this bit yet, so I haven't done that yet. <laughs> but that's the workbook. And yeah, you've got all these different languages that you can use it to understand. And then this is your main sort of learning book. Let me just move this out of the way. So it's got both here and there. So if you use this as like your shopping thing, you can still click on those. Um, and it does also, to complement through this, it does also have Learn Korean with Tiny Tan videos that you can purchase, which I did. Um, and you use these along with each of these sections. Um, so they have as many videos as they do sections I'm pretty sure or maybe a few more I think there's seven videos or something um so but this is the main book here and it has the introduction to RM. so they're reading out to you what they've written which I think is kind of cool <laughs> and once I've figured out how to speak it a little bit more, I will be able to figure out what they're saying, um, which would be really cool. And then they have, um, they go through and they tell you the main short little story about how Hangul um, started. But this is when, when Bora, which is this girl who you follow throughout the thing, um, met Hangul or the idea of it because she was busy listening to a song and not understanding what they were saying and wanting to know. So then she learns all about um, Hangul and how it started and the main sort of thing, which is really interesting if you haven't learned it before. This is a short little snippet and it's really interesting to learn more about it. And then it just tells you how the book is set out, the structure of it, uh, how the pen works and what you can use and click on throughout the whole thing. And then it tells you other bits that you've got with it. Oh yeah, now these posters also work with the pen. So if you click on these, you hear it as well. So both of these posters have that ingrained um, thing that works with your pen. So you're sitting there in bed at night with them and you can just click on the poster and practice through a few of the sounds. They also have a study plan set out that you can go through and follow, but you can really just do it on your own time, however it works for you. And then we go into the first chapter, which is your simple vowels. And again, these... These work. Um, and then here is what I mean. When you find a love heart like this, instead of hearing the lady speaking to you, 
<laughs> that's when you hear the um, BTS ones speaking to you whenever you click on those as well um, so then it takes you through there's a few tests that you can do and it makes that sound if you get it right and it makes that sound if you get it wrong so you know if you're getting it right or wrong and you can there's a test at the end of each chapter that you work through um, just to assess how you're sort of understanding it and then you go through the different sounds of things um, so each of these things are clickable or that you read and then it has the so it has vocabulary words that you can then work on after learning each sound which is really cool so it takes you through a few there are qr codes if you see these and you scan them it actually takes you to little youtube clips of bts speaking these things so that you can hear them and try and guess what it is that they're saying and because you've just learned it you can pick up on it which is really cool you feel kind of special when you know what they're saying or at least a little bit <laughs> um and yeah so you go all the way through through it has all different words and then this is like your review or your test at the end of each chapter and it has a section of some interesting information at the end of each thing and more love hearts to click on which is really cool so it takes you through all of that that's the real basic basics which takes you through the beginnings of hungul and then further on it takes you through word structure and how they put together um, words and sentences and the different way that it works and the good part about it um, Hangul is other than like it, it sounds your letters don't change like in Australian or English um, our letters change like a can be a or, or I can be E or I or and make all these different sounds whereas Hangul stays pretty much true to the sound the whole time which is really cool so it's a little bit less confusing in that way um, and then linking the sounds together, how they create sentences. So this is really working, building from nothing to a, to something. And by the end of this, you can do a fair bit, which is really exciting. So you work your way through. And then the last bit is Hungul Games. So there's a lot of fun games that you can do at the end, which is really cool. And you can click on all of this. And then it does also have the answers at the back. So you can go to the back and check what you're doing all the way through the book to see if what you've understood is correct too. Um, and then there's just some notes pages at the end. So this is it here, they show you this book is for beginners if you don't know much at all. And then the next one is intermediate, which is the one I will show you next. And then the talk to um, with BTS is then further along again, I think. So that's the Learn With Time 10. And then I won't take as long with this one because there's a lot less stuff in this one. <laughs> And this pen, you can load both lots onto it. So you can use the one pen in both sets um, because they're interchangeable. But I'll just turn this one off. <laughs> anyway, um, so this is the next set. It's the Learn with BTS. Sorry if this video is going for a long time. Um, if you're interested in sticking with me, awesome. If not, that's okay. I understand if it's not my normal planning stuff. Um, so this is some beautiful paper that you get on top. And then this is the other pen I was talking about. So again, it's still one of those smart pens that talks to you. It's a black one, um, but it can't be personalized. So it still works the same in that you can click on any of the bits and bobs in all of the books and stuff and it'll speak. And it just has the general BTS So I don't know if you heard that, but um, <laughs> so that one's just BTS as a whole, and that's what the purple one sounds like until you personalize it. Um, so that's the black pen, same as the purple one, just um, yeah, that little bit different. Now this is supposed to pull my books up, but it doesn't. <laughs> wow! And this one comes with four books. And then you also get um, another two keyboard things. This one has a purple one and a black one. The other one has a green one and a white one. So you get more of those keyboard things, which is cool. And then you get your four books. 
and you just work your way through them and it takes you, you learn the history and the culture of um, the different places around Korea and stuff through these books, which is really cool. Um, so again, it's got their little welcome thing. Only I'm pretty sure in this one, they don't read out what they've written out loud. They just, it just says their name. So this one's set out a little bit differently, of course, because it is that bit further along. So it does have a basic section at the start. It sets out the characters that you're going to meet along the way. So this is Bora. You're following her along. It's your main person. Um, and then you meet a whole bunch of other people along the way. So it does have Learning Hunger, which is your basic stuff. So if you didn't get the other one, you can just go from here. Oh, sorry, I'm half sitting on my bed. <laughs> Um, yeah, you can just go from this book and learn the Hangul. And there is a bit of basic stuff, but it's very little. Um, and it doesn't have very much in there at all. It's just this small first section that takes you through. And then you're straight into it. So, um, yeah, if you don't know the basics, you want to do the other one first. So then this takes you through learning... The whole thing you can click on different stuff and if it's got a little bts uh, symbol throughout the pages and pictures that's clickable as well and makes sounds so keep an eye out for those throughout the book and then you can click on the different things and it'll say it in korean and then if you click on english it'll change it and say it in english so you can see what they're saying but this is more hearing like full conversation question things so it's uh, explaining in detail some harder to, um, concepts and stuff and then using full sentences in like a whole conversation you can listen to. And then they do have um, tab here which reads it all out to you. So there's definitely, this is definitely a lot harder <laughs> to work through if you're a beginner beginner. This is not for you. Again, they have the QR codes that you can scan and this relates to BTS videos um, that you can see them doing and saying things. And if you click on these pictures with your pen, they also make sounds so in here you hear them saying hello that they're bts and that sort of thing so the pictures work as well um and then yeah so it takes you through um her visiting korea and going all the way through visiting lots of different places lots of conversations and there's learning um things like public transport in korea so there's pages like that that are informative as well throughout it and then it just takes you all the way through. It does have vocabulary at the back, vocabulary, <laughs> and then answers as well. So you can double check your work. So that's the first book. And then it has the second book. And it just takes you all the way through. Like that. And it's explaining more and more of the concepts and the structures and all the different things like that. So you can understand a lot more as you're going. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's the four books and the black pen and then the sticky keyboard that you get with this one. And it's definitely the second along, like it's intermediate. Once you know a fair bit of stuff, then you move on to these. So I hope that's been interesting. I'm sorry it's gone for so long, um, but because there's two packs, it does take a little bit to sort of show you. Um, but that's the way it's set out. And the new thing that's coming, talk to me, uh, talk to BTS, that doesn't work with the black pen. You need the purple pen for it. Um, the purple pen is like the newer one. So if you're going to get a pen, definitely get the purple one. But if you do get the talk to me, uh, learn Korean with tiny tan, it automatically comes with the purple one. So you don't have to buy it separate because it comes with, with your kit, um, which is this one, obviously. And it's the one you want because it's what works with the next one coming. So, yeah, I hope it's been interesting. I hope you got something out of it. Um, if you didn't, that's okay. I understand it's not my usual content. But I just really um, enjoy learning Korean and learning a new language. And I do a Korean um, planning book thing too. I've started doing a book where I go through and do the languages and start using some of the stickers and then the lyrics at the back and I am going to be starting to do like some BTS journaling and stuff which I may put up on my channel 
Um, but again, if that doesn't interest you, don't worry. My other planning stuff will still permanently be coming up here as well. This is just like an added extra. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, because I'd love to have you join this crazy crack family here on YouTube. And I will see you in the next video, guys. It will be a planning one, so don't worry. <laughs> um, but if this did interest you or anything else like that, please let me know um, and stay tuned. But yeah, see you in the next video, guys. And remember, while you're waiting, keep on planning.